What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren and I truly believe that the MCU has just changed for good for the better. I was hoping a good change would come and it did. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 showed me that. And I really think that this movie is about to do some things for Marvel that they haven't seen in a very long time. Now, no spoilers in this video, but I can still talk about how it's changing the MCU and what Marvel Studios did with this movie to make it different from the past few years. Let's talk about that. But first, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Marvel Future Fight by Netmarble. It's the game's homecoming event, and we're so excited for the update with an update on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 on the horizon in celebration of the new movie. If you haven't heard of Marvel Future Fight, you need to. Marvel Future Fight is a mobile fighting game where you can play as the most iconic heroes and take on the most fearsome villains in the Marvel Universe. And the cool thing about Marvel Future Fight is the ability to customize and enhance any character you'd like. The game has expanded their roster of 250 plus heroes to and 420 plus uniforms over the last eight years. And the great news is there's an in-game homecoming party on April 26th in celebration of the eighth year anniversary. That includes 50% off uniforms and 50% additional bonus crystals. There are even major rewards such as a selector tier 3 hero just by logging in. There's also a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 update that you won't want to miss. So click the link in my description and use code 8 years party for 300 crystals. Just right off the bat, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is truly the best movie to come from Marvel Studios in a handful of years. And I think that there is actually a pretty good reason for this. And again, I am going to talk a little bit about the movie, but not give any spoilers away. More about just kind of how the movie is made and some things that you kind of need to know about the movie to really appreciate what it is. You see, if you're here, you love Marvel or you at least like Marvel. And a vast majority, not all, but a vast majority of people who like and love Marvel Studios have said that they have kind of lacked quality recently, and even Marvel Studios themselves have admitted to this. But Marvel Studios has made a lot of structural changes recently, but Guardians of the Galaxy 3 didn't need any changing at all. And the reason for that is that this was always a James Gunn film. No interference, really, from Marvel Studios. James Gunn got fired after Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and what we learned from that is that James Gunn was really upset because the Guardians trilogy was essentially about the story of the Guardians, of course, but Rocket Raccoon, and he wrote the stories for all of the movies, and he directed them the way he wanted to direct them. He made them his movie, and this is important because we recently learned when Marvel Studios fired executive Victoria Alonso, some things came to the surface, and people said that she said, the directors don't really direct the movies, but Marvel Studios does and their executives. Meaning, they have final say. If they don't want something in a movie, or they do want something in a movie, they're gonna make that change, despite what the director wants. Now, I don't think she was speaking for the whole company there at all. I think that was just her opinion. Now, of course, Marvel Studios has power, but the difference with Guardians 3 is that they let James Gunn make his film, and you can see that here. Because as much as I love the interconnectivity of the MCU, and that is there in the Guardians film, I think Marvel Studios has had a problem recently with either trying to connect too much or not enough. I feel like they've kind of been in the middle and haven't really picked a lane for a lot of their projects. However, Guardians does because it's all about the Guardians. James Gunn got to finish his trilogy and his very specific story that he wanted to tell and it was completely focused on this team. Does it set up new things? Yes. Does it show that? Yes. But it is totally and completely connected to the actual story that we are going through and it doesn't take away from the story at all. And the results were kind of mind-blowing. This was one of the best films from Marvel Studios kind of just period. Not just one of the best in the past few years, but it's just one of the best films to come from Marvel. It's one of the most emotional films to come from Marvel Studios, but it is still also at the same time hilarious. It's basically what we know the Guardians to be. It's not a big deviation from what we already know and love with the Guardians because James Gunn got to finish the story that was simply focused on the Guardians. And I think that this is what is going to change Marvel Studios. They clearly realize that the quality has suffered. They have stated that they are going to focus more on quality and not quantity. They've made some changes internally, firing some executives, moving some people around. They are actively trying to get better, and it shows 
with this movie. But more importantly, I think this movie is going to kind of be a big staple for them. And they're really going to learn from the entire process of the making of Guardians 3, how they were involved, how they worked with the directors, and specifically with storytelling. Because the results for Guardians 3 speak for themselves. Let's talk about just a few reviews. First of all, here's Arnold Schwarzenegger's review, who, if you did not know, is the father-in-law of Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt married his daughter. I also saw him at the premiere and fist bumped him and fist bumped Chris Pratt. It was amazing. This is what he said on Twitter. I saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 last night and wow. Chris Pratt, you crushed it. A nonstop, perfect mix of comedy and action. I loved it, and I'm very, very proud of you. And I gotta say, Chris Pratt and the whole cast crushed it. They really, really did. This was a perfect send-off for the Guardians of the Galaxy. However, like I've been saying, it's not the end of the Guardians team in general, just this specific Guardians team that we have now. And side note, I really gotta say that whatever you think you know is going to happen, you don't. Because the ending is not what I thought it was going to be. Some other scenes are not what I thought they were going to be. So just go in with an open mind, ready to see the awesome Guardians that we know and love. But let's dive into some other reviews because after the movie, I was trying to process what had happened. Now, if you haven't caught my personal spoiler-free review, I suggest you check that out. There is an aspect of the movie that I really didn't like, but that is very personal to myself. So after, I asked everybody around me what they thought about the movie. Initial reactions right after the movie ended. I asked Greg Alba and John Humphrey over at The Real Rejects, and Greg said he loved it that it was one of the best Marvel movies that he's seen. He definitely thought that it was the best Guardians of the Galaxy film in the franchise and that he wanted to watch it again immediately. I asked John and he said the same thing. And we were all crying. We all shed tears a lot of parts during the movie. And John said he loved it. They both really loved it. And if you haven't caught their reviews, please go check them out over at The Real Rejects. Then I asked my good friend Wendy and she said she loved it as well. Her review is up on her YouTube channel as well, The Movie Couple. Then I asked my friend Tessa over at Mama's Geeky. She absolutely loved it. She too said it was the best film since Avengers Endgame, and you can check out her review on her website and YouTube channel. But here's where it got really odd. At the after party after I went around and I kept asking people that I knew, what did you think of the movie? And I didn't hear a single bad review at all. In fact, I was the only one who really had anything negative to say about it, and that's only because I hate half human, half cyborg robot people. It freaks me out, and that was my only complaint about the movie. But literally, nobody else really said anything bad about this film. And after I was actually speaking with some people over at Marvel, and I was asking them what they take away from this, what they take away from movies, and they confirmed to me they learn from every movie after every single movie comes out and they see reactions and critic reviews and everything, they get together and they talk about what they can improve, what was the best, what was the worst, what went wrong, and how do they fix that for upcoming movies. And since this movie is clearly a home run for Marvel Studios, I think they're going to take away a lot from this as far as how it was executed, how they let James Gunn take the helm and let him be a writer and let him be a director. Of course, they were supervising and talking with him about everything, but really, it was his movie as a film creator. Marvel Studios has already done some of this already. They have gotten new writers for new projects for Deadpool 3, for the Fantastic Four. They've also changed directors for projects as well. They are literally changing the stories because they don't think that they're going to be good. They don't think the audiences are going to like the stories. So Marvel Studios, I can attest, is literally doing everything that they can to make better projects. And it just shows so hard with this movie. Now, like I mentioned, there were some aspects to this movie that I didn't like, and I think that's going to be the same for a minority of the people that go and see this. But again, every movie isn't perfect for everybody. So just go in with the expectation that you're going to see a fun film and that you're probably going to get your heartstrings tugged at. I know not everyone's a softie like my friends and myself, but there are a lot of moments that hit hard, and above all, it is hilarious. It is a Guardians film, so you're going to enjoy a true Guardians of the Galaxy movie. If you've liked the other ones, I think you'll like this one a lot. And I truly think that this is going to restore a lot of faith in the MCU for a lot of Marvel fans, which just makes me super happy. This film made me so happy because I know that the future is going to be amazing. So go in there, have some fun, and we'll do a spoiler free talk after we'll do a live stream and we'll talk about it with all of you what you thought about it. So I look forward to that. In the meantime, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest MCU news. You can always follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.